today is day two of Day of the Dead, also known as Dia de los Muertos. So I think it fitting that we should take a look at the film The Book of Life, also a Hispanic themed film, um, and it's a children's film. So this is a, I guess you could say, a basic plot. Um, of course, we do have two characters, just very similar to God and Satan making uh, bets against who can win. Of course, in this situation, we do have, um, I guess you could say, uh, Saint Death making a bet um, against a former lover. And um, he basically just wants to leave his land of the forgotten and uh, take reign over her kingdom, I guess you could say. So they place a bet on a group of three children, basically a triangle, um, two little boys who happen to be in love with the same little girl. And uh, they, of course, each choose their own champion. The wager is, depending on which little boy winds up marrying the little girl, um, that person will win X prize. So obviously um, you do, I guess you could have, say you do have the well-intended but easily manipulated um, and then, of course, the pure-hearted child. So um, it's just very much a story, uh, the, the time-old story of, you know, it's, it's, it's about a dame. You know, isn't it always? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so you do have the story of the young girl, uh, Maria, who uh, I guess you could say is just very precocious. She's just a little too wild for her father's taste. He wants her to, to be just a traditional... I guess you could say old-fashioned, submissive little lady. So he sends her off to boarding school to to train her how to properly behave. Meanwhile, the two little boys remain behind and say that they will wait for her. Um, one becomes a bullfighter. I guess you could say the other one um, is somewhat of a hero. He just has this immense strength, um, and he, you know, obviously has the power and the ability to save the town. Obviously, that's not a natural ability while still children. I guess you could say uh, he was approached by the opposing deity and given a um, some sort of an emblem which gives him immortality and strength. So, you know, kind of uh, in a, essentially a, a cheat. So of course years go by, the young lady returns. She's definitely very refined, but she hasn't lost her personality. She hasn't just been worn or beaten down into something that she is not. So obviously the two boys are still in pursuit of her, um, and there is, I guess you could say, some of somewhat of a double cross. Obviously the um, the crooked deity uh, leads the one young man into believing that the girl has passed. In order to recuperate or recover her, he consents to giving up his own life just so that he can be with her. Only later to find out that she is still alive. So the interesting thing here is he has a very similar issue as the young lady Maria. He wants to follow his own dream. He wants to be himself. And his father kind of seems to push this family obligation onto him that he's expected to be a bullfighter because everyone before him was when all he really wants to do is just sing. Um, you know, so it's, I guess it's just kind of hard to want to follow your own path when someone keeps trying to force you onto another, but obviously that does wind up working out that he is eventually allowed to be himself. Um, obviously they do both, uh, obviously he does return to the land of the living, um, and I'll just kind of leave it open-ended there. I mean, it's definitely a very cute story. There's a lot going on. Um, obviously this film was produced by director Guillermo del Toro, um, and I think it's just a very interesting and very cute film. Um, especially nowadays, you don't really see, or at least me, maybe I could be wrong here, but I don't see too many mainstream films featuring, um, I guess you could say, characters from Hispanic culture. Of course, you do have an animated cartoon about the Chupacarba, which I, I will eventually take a look at. But, um, I mean, he's just so stereotypical now. It's, it's who who really wants to take that mythological character seriously? But, you know, this story is just treated very straightforward. It's very respectful. Um, and, you know, it, it does use a lot of the iconic iconography um, as well as, you know, like the in the Land of the Dead, uh, most of the deceased do have kind of like the sugar skull 
paintings on their face, but um, what I find here interesting or just very much a similarity between this film as well as Corpse Bride is the land of the dead is very happy. It's very festive. Obviously it's bringing to light. It's not something that's to be feared. It's something to be welcomed. Obviously death is a transition in itself. It's not necessarily the end, but a new beginning. So definitely not something to be feared. Whereas, you know, the land of the living, yes, they do have their own joys and whatnot, but it, it just seems more, uh, I guess you could say emphasized that the land of the dead is, is very joyous and happy. But um, obviously the the film itself is filled with a lot of um, vibrant colors. Some of the characters kind of do have like that look of like the kind of like the wood puppet type look to them but um, you know definitely does stay within the the trueness of the the culture. Definitely a very good film, definitely worth taking a look at. Um, they do take I guess you could say modern day popular songs. They do give it kind of like a a twist, but it really does work for the film. So you still do have that sense of familiarity. But um, yeah, in my opinion, just very well told. I was really pleased with this film. Definitely will continue to watch this one. Um, I don't know if I'll, I will make it a yearly thing, but um, yeah, I I really did enjoy this one. But um, that is pretty much all I have for you guys today, and I will. Talk to you later.